tonight. From Mercedes Benz. Still nothing, nothing here in quarter one, but an early test to check in on as we've got a third down situation looming. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's got the first, but we also have a flag on the field. And they're already walking backwards. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we're talking about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. Steps away to his left. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. On third down, he'll drop to throw, buying time to his left. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 31 yard line. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly it. Time to get you back live again. This offense in the red zone as they've got it first and 10 at the 17-yard line. Now a first down carry for Harris. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Being chased out left. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. With Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think but, you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkle. Touchdown! Hunter Henry, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are back within a score. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him... It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. They'll drop the throw. And this pass broken up. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And Fultz's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. Fourth quarter, kicking team with a lead, and now with this position of the field that they're at, they're going to try to pin them deep down inside their own 10. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you're just holding a slim lead, but that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. He's back to throw. Connecting with Aguilar. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. 
That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens in back. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Fabian Moreau, and they'll start out with great... So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team... Today, from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. A scoreless game here early on, but how much longer will that hold up as we've got action in the red zone on first and 10? They'll run on first down. It's Harris, able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. A look at the numbers for Harris in last week's game. One rushing touchdown, yes, but look at the rushing yards. He was up near 200. The one phrase I'd use to describe that performance, he carved up that defense. Second and six. Flushed out right. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. The stop there on third, they could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there, and I go right And he is in! Touchdown, New England! Damian Harris, touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive.
So this offense, they've made their way into the red zone now. They've got it a couple yards inside the 20 at the 18, first and 10. On first down, it's Harris. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Kendrick Bourne, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. A big play coming up here. Third down and two from inside the red zone. What can this offense do? Let's find out. On third down, here's Harris. Oh, leaves him behind on the spin. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. So far this season, this is an offense that's proved its ability to move the football. I mean, they're in the top five in the NFL and picking up first downs, and they get the conversion here. And I think a lot of that is due to how they win on first and second down, because that leaves them third and short, third and manageable. A lot easier to pick them up then, isn't it? 67 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. From the two now, second and goal. Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris with his 19th touchdown, his second of the... Desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too good there. to throw here. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Smith. And he works it past the 30 almost to the 25. A lot of points put on the board so far by this offense. Now they're looking for more. Already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone. Stevenson now on first and 10. Solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots. It's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass. 